What is up, YTPC? Andrew here, aka Bluefin Piper, coming at you from the backyard here in beautiful New Jersey. Well, I hope everyone out there is having a great weekend. Hope you guys are all enjoying some uh, some nice weather and good smokes wherever you are. And uh, today, just wanted to have a little chat with you guys. Had some fun things to talk about, so I'm gonna try to get through a few different things to share with you. We are, uh, I guess, uh, first off, a little housekeeping. I am smoking my Missouri Meerschaum Charlestown Cobbler. And in it, I have a little bit of Dan Tobacco Sweet Vanilla Honey. Nice aromatic tobacco for a beautiful spring day. Well, I'm just uh, getting ready for my Sunday showdown and uh, just uh, gonna be uh, enjoying a little more of this Dan Tobacco, trying to uh, get a little better feel for it before I, uh, before I talk about that. So. All right. Well, we are on the verge of the Chicago Pipe Show happening next weekend, and I'm excited to uh, to say that I will be going this year. I uh, didn't get to go last year, and I uh, just really uh, can't wait to go this year. So many uh, people I've been corresponding with. I think it's it's going to be, I'm sure, overwhelming for me. First time in Chicago, and I know it's a, a crazy show, uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, I'm going to be... Uh, flying in on Thursday evening, afternoon, evening, and uh, being there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, uh, well, Friday, Saturday for the show, and um, probably a little bit of Sunday as well. If you guys, if anyone's gonna be there, definitely uh, leave me a comment in the bucket, but uh, look me up. Uh, if you see me uh, on the floor in the tent, definitely stop by, say hello, uh, share a smoke. It'd be, uh, be great to, uh, to meet you guys live and in person. So really looking forward to that. I'm gonna try to do some filming. I want to try to just enjoy the show a bit, but I know there's going to be probably a few different people filming while we're there. Uh, I know Dion from Classical Pipes is going to be there, and I think he said he's going to try to film. But uh, I will try to do some filming when I'm there. We'll see what happens, uh, see if I can get some good uh, footage for you guys and possibly an interview or two. Uh, definitely going to try to do that as well. So, um, all right. Well, uh, so this past week, I uh, was l lucky to uh, have a few days off. My wife was on uh, her Easter break for teaching, and we got a chance to go up to Vermont, did a little bit of uh, uh, relaxation, got a, ca got a little cabin in uh, Vermont, and had some, had some really nice weather first few days, some sunshine and 68 degrees, and then it, uh, as Vermont can do, dropped down to 38 degrees, believe it or not, the final night we were there. So it got a little chilly, uh, but definitely got to enjoy some tobacco time and uh, did some fun lunting around a few different uh, areas. And I took some footage of that. I may, may try to make a video for you guys later, but maybe I'll share a few pictures here or here, uh, splice a few things in, give you guys a chance to look at some of the uh, beautiful footage of the uh, Lowell Lake and also Merck Forest that we uh, were able to lunt around while we were there. And. Uh, Really had a great time and uh, enjoyed it quite a bit. Well, and uh, so of course, like any uh, good uh, pipe smoking aficionado, I uh, had to look up and see if there were any local B&Ms on the way or around. And I did see that there's uh, a pretty well-known, I guess I, I shouldn't probably say well-known, but uh, a pretty, pretty amazing tobacco shop called Park Lane Tobacconist in Clifton, uh, Park, New York, and uh, they are, they've been there a long time, little, I'll say a hidden gem. Uh, if you look at their website, which I'll also put the link down below, uh, they have some, uh, some amazing pipes and tobacco, huge selection of bulk tobacco there. Uh, and really, you know, so of course, on the way home, I managed to convince my wife that it wasn't too far out of the way to take a little swing and hit uh, Park Lane Tobacconist, got to go in and check out the shop. Just an incredible selection of Costello's, uh, one of the biggest Costello's selections I've seen in the U.S. in a shop in a long time. Really impressed. And uh, um, also so a really, really nice selection of some old tins as well. Uh, so I wanted to share that with you guys. I, uh, while I was there, I picked up some of one of their local blends, Red Paramour. This is a... Uh, this is a vapor uh, that the uh, manager who was there did tell me uh, is quite popular with the uh, with the folks, the locals there. And he did say if you call them up, they do do 
they will ship tobacco. So definitely encourage you guys, check out their website. Um, and I'll show you guys a few pictures here of the, of the shop itself and uh, some of the, the few of the tins I picked up. So let me splice those in right now. So as you can see, I did find some uh, old Dunhill tins, which I just could not resist. They were a little bit pricey, uh, definitely not uh, original retail prices, but the uh, square tins are hard to find. And um, even the, the Dunhill Royal Navy, when you look at the, um, the rolls, you know, I haven't seen that uh, wording and picture on that tin. So I know that's a few years old as well. Um, so pretty cool, managed to pick up a few fun things, uh, managed to, Stop myself from buying any pipes while I was there, but uh, especially since I was going to be going to Chicago soon. But um, definitely encourage you guys, if you're anywhere near the place, check out the shop. I know they do pipe nights uh, every once in a while. I think on Thursdays. I just missed it, actually. I was there um, uh, and I had just missed their pipe night. But uh, I definitely encourage you guys to check out. Again, it's, uh, it's Park Lane Tobacconist. So, um, and, I'll, and I'll put the link down below. Right, and it, this kind of next part uh, that I wanted to share with you guys in this pipe chat actually um, kind of blends well because I know uh, I wanted to chat with you guys about K. Woody pipes, and the uh, I know um, the uh, current uh, K. Woody uh, pipe maker and also the owner of Park Lane Tobacconist are good friends, and I think uh, live nearby, um, close to each other. So I think they have uh, K. Woody events every once in a while at uh, Park Lane Tobacconist. Well, um, so K. Woody is celebrating its 100th anniversary uh, selling uh, pipes. And uh, if you guys are not aware, uh, the K. Woody, I thought I'd talk a little bit about K. Woody. I'm not, um, I'm certainly not gonna, gonna attest to be a K. Woody expert by any stretch, um, but I did uh, recently hear about the K. Woody 100th anniversary and uh, really had me intrigued. Uh, really, uh, I think uh, K. Woody is, is really one of the most successful, if not the most successful, uh, long-lasting U.S. Uh, made pipe brands. And so it's uh, pretty cool to see them celebrating 100 years. Um, and uh, I'm going to put an article uh, down below in the bucket. And if you guys are interested, I really encourage you to check it out. Uh, it's a great article about the history with some cool pictures on K. Woody. Um, and the brand itself, you know, uh, originally started by the Kaufman brothers. Um, and as I understand it, you know, back in uh, 1853, actually, or 1851, 53, they opened up their first shop in Brooklyn, New York. Um, but they started selling the K. Woody brand in 1919. Um, so we are now at, uh, of course, their 100 year anniversary. And a uh, little fact that I read, I guess the K. Woody name came from the K in Kaufman brothers and wood for briar pipes, so K. Woody. And um, the, uh, so they are celebrating their 100th anniversary and uh, Bill Farrowback, uh, probably just uh, apologize if I <laughs> got his last name wrong, who, who uh, currently is the, the pipe maker uh, making uh, K. Woody pipes, is putting out a special line celebrating the 100th anniversary. Uh, they're doing 100 pipes and they're gonna be in sets of 20. I think there's like 20 rusticated Dublins, 20 rusticated billiards, uh, 20 of the special natural pipes, which are not gonna be rusticated. They're blasted, but they're not stained or rusticated because that briar is a higher quality. Um, and they're gonna be, uh, yeah, so they're just gonna have a, a, a hundred only of these made. And uh, one of the folks on the speakeasy has a shop. Uh, he actually works through 901 St. James, which you've heard me talk about before. And uh, his name is uh, Linaroni. That's what he goes by. Uh, Linear One, sorry, on uh, speakeasy. Uh, and I saw him posting and he talked about the 100th anniversary and these pipes and he had some for sale. So I reached out to him, was chatting with him and, um, you know, managed to uh, 
uh, pick up one of the uh, rarer natural pipes and I thought I would uh, share that with you guys. I'm really excited. Uh, and that's my really my first K Woody. Um, so let me just uh, share that with you guys now. All right, guys, sorry. Had to shift around here. I was getting some uh, crazy glare and it wasn't working too well. So I wanted to try this in another angle. So anyway, I have my uh, K Woody uh, 100th anniversary pipe here. I wanted to share with you guys. And of course, here is the K Woody bag with the famous Clover logo. Really nice bag. Let me show you guys the pipe. Little drum roll. Ta-da! <laughs> All right. So this is. Put my other pipe down here. This is uh, one of the 20 natural blasts. Of course, of course, this is a Dublin. And as you guys can see, I hope the uh, the sun and the glare here isn't too bad. Um, really, a be really a beautiful pipe. Um, some really nice ring grains here, um, and uh, trying to get uh, get this in the light so you guys can really see it. Um, just look at that green. <laughs> Had to be done. All right, so really, really cool natural blast. Uh, I got the K Woody logo here, and uh, really, what I wanted to, of course, share with you guys. You can see um, K Woody hundredth. 1919 to 2019 and this is pipe number eight of 20. Um, again just since the light seems a little better right now I'll show you guys. So really um, really nice uh, Dublin and of um, all of these pipes uh, from the anniversary line come with a certificate of authenticity. I'll show that to you guys give you guys a chance to read that if you like. There you go. And you can see here, this is the natural and number eight of 20. Um, so uh, they also, um, and also uh, threw in a really nice K Woody Briar tamper uh, as well. Uh, some nice plateau there, really cool, uh, cool tamper. So, uh, so thank you again to Linear One for uh, hooking me up. And if any of you guys are interested in the K Woody 100th anniversary pipes, um, you know, I'm going to put a link down below to the 901 St. James site. I know they still have a few, uh, I believe he still has a few of the rusticated Dublins for sale. And if, um, if you're interested, go check them out. I'm sure uh, they're also going to be selling them probably at the different pipe shows in Chicago and other places. Um, and, uh, of course, if any of you guys would like uh, to reach out to Linear One, you know, just let me know. I'm happy to put you in contact with him through the speakeasy. So. There you go, excited to share that with you guys. And you know, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this pipe. It's really a nice collector's item. Uh, so of course I wanna smoke it. Uh, I feel like it's a travesty not to smoke it at least once, but uh, we'll see, um, not sure yet, all right? Okay, well that's what I got for you guys today. Hope again that you all have a great weekend. And uh, you know, I look forward to seeing any of you that are in Chicago, definitely uh, hit me up and let me know and say hi. Until next time, I wish you guys all tight lines. Happy smokes. Take care.